I had every intention to record this type of a video on a beautiful spring day when the cows would be out grazing, but it actually hasn't stopped raining the whole spring. So welcome to Ireland. Ready to go. <laughs> it's actually a nice morning. It's kind of depressing to think it's going to be raining for the day, isn't it? Yeah. Another day of rain. We'll enjoy this tiny dry spell while we get it. <laughs> Come on. Um, there's a good bit of plantain in the fields and whatever it is in the plantain it makes them wee a lot more they drink a lot more water and wee a lot it's a I think they call it like a diuretic oh didn't know that so they're just filling up the tanks <laughs> The main herd in here now, yeah. and the colostrum group are going to go in this little section. Their milk then is separated. Uh, we, leave, we leave them to the end to milk, or there's a valve at the bottom. We switch that valve over when we're going to milk them, and their milk goes across and into the calf tank. Mm -hmm. I see. No, can't see it. <laughs> people when you go to their house and they have like five locks in their front door. <laughs> That's me with the cottage. <laughs> <laughs> that at the front as well. And like, like... Two, there's like two guys that go in and then they had a chain around it then as well. <laughs> Just in <laughs> case. Yeah. <laughs> You lone soldiers. First thing in the morning, 
if there's any calf that like didn't suffer or just seems a bit off myself and our little one is we do any treatment so thankfully this morning there was only one calf that had like a bit of a loose backside and the rest of them all sucked 100 percent and we did it with like an electrolyte yogurt probiotics and then if they're particularly bad like then we might need to get you know drug intervention i'm actually looking at the calf now that had a loose backside this morning it was after doing a perfect dung anyway i'm gonna give him the stuff Oh, ideally. And you could have one, you could use one, and then just go to the other tank and you won't have to be thinking about it. And you'd be able to wash out one tank then. And like with the cooler working on this, if you don't want to then the milk goes off very quickly. Okay. But you could get away, if you had two tanks, you could get away without the cooler because you could just use one, one, one. You need the agitator though, because remember we didn't have it turned on and then all the fat goes to the top and then the calves are absolutely stuffed when, when it comes to the fat <laughs> yes and then they won't drink for about two days yeah. spraying it down now managed two people in the parlor, no bother. But and actually in the main season you'd only need one person in the parlor because of the fact that it's once a day and the cows take longer to milk. But in the springtime you could definitely do with three people with all the cleaning. Um, you've heifers training so they're kicking off as well so this is a little bit extra work. Freya, Freya, come back up here. Caught, red handed, huh? Gangster.
So it's three days past now. Uh, so I'm going to check her a bit to see if she has any mastitis. If she doesn't, or high cell count. Basically, I put each quarter into a correspondent uh, paddle. Or paddle. You put this uh, reagent in with them, and if it reacts, it will be like a like jelly, really viscous. Whereas if it's if, if, if it's okay and she's clear, you will be able to just pour it out like water. So I strip out the first few because the first few squirts of milk will always be high cell count. Will not very high but okay and then there's a little line on the paddle there see the line on the other side there's a line on this side as well so you pour the milk to that line then you put in a similar you squeeze in a similar amount of liquid now if she had a problem in a quarter i don't really mind the color too much See the way that one's a little bit darker. Yeah. It's more, if she had a problem, it'd be pure jelly. So if I pour it off, it's like water. It would like nearly stick. To the paddle. Yeah, she's okay. is usually when our little one has had enough she's played with her water she's done everything that she needs to do and she just wants to go to mom and dad's house so uh, she's actually with my sister now and they're going to a toddler play group this morning so lucky me i get to stay and wash up the whole parlor it's like a little treat for myself <laughs> Milking is finished, it's time for a small break now and then we were going to be getting calves out today but I just think it's too wet so it might be a different job for today and then hopefully if it dries up tomorrow we'll get calves out then but just let's hope that nobody calves today because we don't have space for another cat in the shed. <laughs> So on the farm you probably notice there's a couple of people. There's obviously myself, there's Podrick, then there is Roger who gives us a hand in the morning feeding calves. So he's done that for the whole springtime and he's done it for the last couple of years. So he feeds calves in the morning time. And then we have Rosha is a student with us from NUIG in Galway. So she's doing her placement with us this spring and that has been a massive help because obviously we didn't know we were going to be locked up with TB this spring. So that was great. And then obviously we have Morgan at the weekends. So yeah, we're absolutely blessed with help. We'll go do those jobs.
where the cows go when we're cleaning out the cabin area this is where they hang out and just some of them like to stand in their own because why not good for you girl good for you where are we going the camera <laughs> oh, you left that She is definitely going to calve, 100%. Right, so we'll have that to do. And we have to feed all these calves. And this one is going recording everything as well, are you? I can't do it. Good woman. I think I'm saying in another video that we are giving the cows that are calving, some of them anyway, uh, this like calcium paste just to try to prevent milk fevers. And because this cow is going calving now, Patrick's here to give that structure because he's going to do something else. Did she pop out? Pop out. She popped out of the cow's belly. Wow. We um we obviously better deal with this cow that's calved, but lads. Um most of you will know Kieran because he's been on the on the channel here for a while. But he just sent me this message. Just in case you were wondering, what's he say? Just in case, in case you think the weather can't get any worse, it was like this three years ago. And the yard was in a bit of a slap all right, so my child's just wiping her nose on me. Okay, let's see what this cow get her sorted. It is four o'clock, like if she hadn't calved now, uh, we'd be finished for the evening, but we'll do with her. But we don't mind once they calve during the day, once they're not calving at night, no problemo. Mm. 
Okay, she's making her way there. I know most people who obviously watch these videos are farmers, so they completely yeah. understand this, but for anyone who doesn't, um, I know it can be a hard one about why farmers take calves away from the cows as soon as they're calved. And they're obviously, it's not for no reason at all. The first reason mainly is colostrum management. So like calves are born without immunity. So all of their immunity they get from their colostrum. So for us as farmers, we prioritize getting colostrum into, into calves as quickly as possible. And the best way that we can do that is by milking the cows straight away and then feeding that colostrum to the calf. So that kind of sets the calf up to have as healthy a life as they can from the get-go. That's obviously the first reason. The second reason then is kind of, it's, it's tricky, but if you leave the calf with the cow for a long time, they can form a bond, obviously. And then it's much, much harder on both the cow and the calf to separate them then after that has happened. That's kind of why if we go in straight away, it just saves hardship for both cow and calf down the road. And obviously for us, we're dairy farmers. So to make a living, we milk cows. And if we had every calf and every cow, then obviously that would be circular farming and not dairy farming. It's just gone half four and I said I better check the maternity cows to make sure that there's no feet sticking out down here. No, we're looking good. Looking good girls. Podrick actually coaches CrossFit on a Wednesday evening, so that's why he wasn't here this evening. We're going to head home now. Kiran is actually on this evening because of the fact that Podrick's coaching. So if there's any cows calving, thanks Kiran for looking after things. Hopefully there won't be any in the night. We have been really blessed. The last like week there has been no calving during the night. It's meant full night sleep for, well, let's be honest, Podrick is the one that's getting up to the cows that are calving at night time. And uh, I get up to the toddler, so I think that's pretty much a fair deal. Anyway.